Hey champs, Benny's in for a special character preview at 4 Star Gold. Yes, the Fiend has finally arrived to WWE Champions. Let him in your roster. So let's go take a look at his coaching ability. At 9k 4 Star Bronze, 25% increased chance for red gems to on initial gem board. Let's take a look at the links. So we have the SmackDown link. Any call and move starts with one more move point and the Modern Era. Gems do 5% more damage. For the gears, there's two sets of gears. The first one, the Fiend. And we have the second one, the Firefly Funhouse Bray. All color moves start with four more move points. That's huge, basically. Uh, most of the time you're not gonna need any MP trainers so let's take a look at the fins designed look at this lantern that's beautiful 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 design well done at Scopely beautiful I love it so let's take a look at the first build for the fin So we have Sister Abigail, finisher, deal 33,728 damage and choose 5 gems to destroy and pin the opponent. The Mendable Claw, submission, generates 15 random submission gems and do 8902 damage for 4 turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining submission gems turn into power gems of strength 3814 and the Lariat Clothesline, deal 9923 damage and deal 14,576 bleed damage to your opponent for 6 turns. Let's take a quick look at the entourage. So we have the architect Seth Rollins. Bleed moves to 50% more bleed damage. And Zombie Brock Lesnar, purple submission moves last two more turns unfortunately i have him only at 2500 uh if you have him at 5k i'm pretty sure it's like three or four turns i'm not so sure and for coaches i'm using hall of fame booker t uh for the extra five percent damage for yellow gems uh, you can use many other coaches but unfortunately i don't have them like Kyrie for the extra bleed and maybe also Nikki Bella. There's so many different coaches that probably can fit in there. So let's face Bautista, Batista, for our first bout. So normally the bleed move will be ready turn one. Nice little intro here with the fin. So the bleed move is ready, so let's use it. The Lariat Clothesline. For 6 turns, Batista will bleed for 21k plus. So now let's choose the yellow match here. So next turn, my finisher and my submission will be ready. Yes, yes, Batista with his green, 4 green match here. It's not going anywhere with the Mandible Claw. 15 random submission gems on that board with the bleed. So that's over 31k damage. That's pretty awesome. I love those combo submission and bleed. Many like Bruno San Martino and Jake the Snake Roberts, many characters and champions have them. It's pretty awesome. So look at this. Batista's green moves are almost completely down. Now my finish is ready. 
What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to reload my purple moves. Trying to choose some purple gems. Maybe creating some cascades. That's perfect, perfect. And we got a, also a yellow match. So again, let's put the bleed to Bautista, the Lariat Clothesline. That's for six turns, over 21k damage. And now the submission, placing 15 submission gems on that board. It will be all over for Batista with that 100% sure before this countdown of gems goes to one. Here we go. Tapping out the Fiend. Let me in. Yo wee ho wee. So now let's face. The undisputed future, Seth Rollins. Who else with the same build, same trainers, same coach? The Finn. I love this intro. So, the bleed is ready. Let's use it. The Lariat clothesline. So, Mr. TUF will bleed for six turn. At a total of 21k per turn. Let's take away his green. So my submission will be ready next turn. So let's spread those 15 submission gems on the board. By the way, I didn't mention it for the first match, but those submission gems, if they're not broken, they will convert to power gems. Look at this, the bleed and the sub combo is awesome. So Seth, health is almost half done already. Little cascade here for the fin. So the bleed is ready again, so let's use it. Of course. Again. Now the finisher will be ready next turn. So I guess it will be all over for Seth Rollins because he's still bleeding right now. Wow. Almost down completely. Almost danger for Seth. A little cascade here for Mr. TUF. 30k damage. Let's kick out with the purple. Okay, so now the finisher's ready. So Sister Abigail. Yes, this will completely annihilate TUF. I don't even have to choose any gems here because it's all over for Mr. Undisputed future. Here we go. One, two, three. The Finn. Let me in. Let him in to your roster. Yes. So let's take a look at his second build. I have the running crossbody block, deal 14,590 damage and modify a six by six random area into protect gems of strength 1213. We have the finisher, sister Abigail, deal 33,728 damage and choose five gems to destroy and pin the opponent and the forearm club. And this is every turn it's in one MP charge, deal 3434 damage and make Four random protect gems into power gems of strength 6402. Let's take a look at the entourage for this build. So I have the yellow MP trainer, Akon. Yellow move starts with four more move points. And Nakamura, Shinsuke. Power gems add 50% more damage on each attack. So basically the forearm club now. 
convert protect gems into power gems of strength 9603 and i have also a coach here i'm using one of his ability so we have booker hall of fame uh one uh yellow gems do five percent more damage so that's it i'm pretty sure you can use other coaches but i do not have maybe the coach or i'm not really interested to put more coaches there so let's take a look at the fin here versus Goldust, the bizarre one. So turn one, basically all three moves will be ready. Why? Normally the finisher is not ready, but uh, because I have perks activated, so all three moves will be ready turn one. So basically, normally only the running crossbody block and the forearm club are ready. Turn one. So with that uh, Firefly Funhouse gear. So let's go with the running crossbody block first and uh, modify a 6x6 random area into protect gems of strength 1213. And now let's use the forearm club and convert four of those protect gems into power gems of strength 9600. And I think I'm going to use Sister Abigail here. So the finisher, and I'm going to choose five gems to destroy. That's a 94k damage. And of course, uh, he's kicking out. Extra turn. Let's kick out. I'm going to put more protect champs on the board. And let's convert four of them into power gems of strength 9600. I have a four yellow match here. Okay, let's convert more. I think he's gonna have one of his moves ready next turn. Let's see if he can kick out first. 84k damage. One. Two. And he, he kicked out. Should be all over for him next turn. Should be. Of course he's going to put his band-aids on that board. So botch gems. Okay, so let's convert. Do we have any protect gems? Yes, we do. So here we go. We have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six power gems on this board. Let's use Sister Abigail right now and see if we can finish the bizarre one. So that's 114k damage, yeah, of course. It's all over for the bizarre one. Here we go, one, two, three, defend. Available today.
So that's it, champs, for this short yo -wee -wee -wee! character preview, four-star gold of the Finn. Let me in. If you enjoyed that preview, please give a like. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Until next character preview, Benny's out.